pride of the Northeast Kingdom, but the old gymnasium at Craftsbury Academy has been showing its age. The school is replacing the historic structure. Anson Tebbets was there when the 1947 building came down. At the crack of dawn, it's peaceful and picturesque on Craftsbury Common. Today's great. It's a great day in the history of Craftsbury, for sure. Since 1947, the Craftsbury Academy gym has played a large role in the town's community, hosting special assemblies and sporting events. There are fond memories from players and coaches. Oh, you know, long time I played basketball there and coached basketball, a lot of games there. Um, just the fond memories of what, ha what went on there years ago and looking forward to what we're going to have new. The new is a new gym, but first the old one must come down. You do the best with what you got. And this was built in 1947, right after the war, in honor of the World War II vets. So it's held, it's held up well, but it's, you know, it served its purpose. At the time, it was the nicest gym around. In 1947, people came from miles around to see the Craftsbury Gym. And we're going to do that again in 2012. Agreeing to build a new gym did not come easily. Five bond votes were defeated before voters agreed to finance the new $1.8 million building. It also signaled Crassbury was willing to keep its small school while some were advocating that it close. I think to, in order to survive in a small school, you're going to have to develop a niche to survive, and I think that we're going to uh, have a place in any mix. Crassbury has done its best to save taxpayers' dollars. 38 landowners have donated lumber for the new floor, which promises to be the best in the business. So the floor is totally done by our community, and it will be like none other in the world. I'm serious. It'll be, uh, it's going to be an amazing, amazing piece of work. The work to get the old gym safely down went off without a hitch. In a matter of seconds, Crassbury was changed. All of a sudden, she was down. <laughs> That's what we knew had to happen, and it went down. The new gym is scheduled to be finished by fall, in time for school and the start of new memories for a community that embraces its history. Anson Tebbets, Channel 3 News, Crassbury Common. And that new... across Vermont are spending Labor Day at backyard barbecues, yeah. hanging out with friends, but in Craftsbury, it's a different story. Work and sweat are defining this weekend as the community comes together to transform a piece of their school. Education reporter Keith McGilvery has a story. Inside the old Craftsbury Academy gym, activities were regularly canceled at the whim of Mother Nature. We couldn't use it if the wind was blowing more than 30 miles an hour or there was more than six inches of snow on the roof. Five bond votes and $1.6 million later, that's changing. So our new gym is going to be awesome. It's about time we get a new one because we can finally like have tournaments and stuff. Construction of a new gym at the 183-year-old K-12 school is well underway. Volunteers kicked off a three-day effort Friday to make one of its final touches a reality, a brand-new hardwood floor. It gives me goosebumps, really it does. I think that um, I would challenge anybody in the world to find a place in a community like this that has donated the wood, come out to put it down, 
and volunteered all that help. The new gym floor took more than 180 trees donated directly from alumni. Now the free labor and lumber saved the project about $150,000. Well, that's tremendous to think that I've got four logs in here. And uh, I've seen my logs every once in a while. I'm, I'm sure they're mine. <laughs> they're attack holes. Horace Strong graduated from the academy in 1943. He says the new sunlit space is a far cry from what he remembers. He helped out all weekend, shy of a gentle reminder from his wife that he had to go to church. You're going to church? And I said, well, I'm going up first and worked here for an hour or more and then went over to church and, and came back and went right at it again. The finished product will benefit 160 students. Be open for town meetings, drama and senior activities, and for use by Sterling College. When we do something as a community, our whole community is like in on it. It's not just a couple people because Crossberry is so, it's like a family. A family that, like the floor and its occasional tap holes, may have a few imperfections. It has character and a commitment to community at its core. And if I stood in front of my community, I would say this is a very good symbol of who we are because it's not perfect. There's, there's imperfections in the floor, but it's durable and it's together and it's forever. Construction here at the gym is slated to be complete by October, which means we could see basketball on the hardwood by the holidays. Keith McGill, Channel 3 News in Craftsburg.